going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in today. Today we're diving in talking about axe handles. So if you have an axe like this Cold Steel Trail Boss, it probably came with a handle that has this high polished varnish on it. And what this is gonna do, it's, it is gonna protect your wood, but it's gonna make blisters and stuff on your hands happen very, very quickly if you're out there chopping wood. And, and check out my review video I did on this Trail Boss. I wasn't even out there chopping too much and I could already start to feel blisters and stuff forming on my hands. So, you know, it's not a big deal if you're wearing gloves, but you know, if you're out doing fine carving tasks, bushcraft type stuff, then, you know, you may not want to wear a pair of gloves all the time. So, you know, what we're going to do today, we're going to dive in talking about how to go through and strip off this varnish or this polyurethane coating. It, it could be different depending on what type of ax you get, but we're going to go through and strip all of this off and we're gonna sand it down, and then we're gonna put boiled linseed oil on it. Guys, yeah, so let's dive into this, and I'm gonna show you how to make that ax handle way better than what it is currently. All right, guys, so what I like to do, if you have a bench vise, that's even better. You can clamp your ax head in and be able to swivel it all the way around, but if you don't have a lot of tools like me, being in the military, I move around a lot. I don't like to have too many of those heavy tools laying around, so all I'm gonna do is clamp this to my workbench with this little clamp that I got from Harbor Freight for like three bucks. And that's gonna hold the handle secure enough to where we can strip this off. All right, so what we're gonna do is grab a knife like this Mora Companion Heavy Duty. It has a really nice edge on it. And all we're gonna be doing is taking that knife edge and scraping all of that varnish off of this. After we get it all shaped up and everything, it is gonna look kind of messy, but what we're gonna do is take some sandpaper, high grit sandpaper, and we'll clean that up and smooth it out. And I just noticed that's gonna be a little in the way, so I'm gonna bring it around here. So I'm gonna start really close to the head up here, and I, hopefully you guys can see this. Try to get to where you guys can. But all I'm gonna do is take that knife and just scrape all of that off. And I can already tell that is the bare wood right there. So, so you can tell where we've been and where we haven't. You don't have to get super precise with this. Like I said, we'll be able to clean it up with sandpaper in a little bit. But right now, I'm gonna show you what we're looking at. Look at that. That's the bare wood, and this is the one with the varnish on it. I can already tell a big difference in that. It has lettering right here, but we're just going to go across it. Now if you see if there's a couple areas that you can still see a little varnish, then all you have to do is go back over it with a couple passes and you're gonna be able to get it. All right, so we flipped it over. We're gonna start up here at the head section again.
All right, we got it worked away from the head there. Now we can start working down the length of the handle a little bit more. Okay, you can tell that's with all the varnish. As we move up the handle, no varnish. So varnish, no varnish. All right, so there's definitely, definitely a big difference now. And it is a little rough, like I said, it is still pretty rough where that lacquer was on there and we're trying to scrape it off, but you know, it's no big deal. We're gonna smooth that out. We took it out of the clamp. Now I'm gonna work around the head a little bit more. Try to get any places that I missed. And the reason we wanna get all of this lacquer off of it is because when we go to put that boiled linseed oil on it, it's not gonna absorb into the wood as easy if it's still on there. So we're gonna give it a good look over once we're completely done. We got it all around the ax head. Just working on down. Kind of an awkward position. All right, so we got pretty much step one out of the way. You can see how all of the varnish and the lacquer is off of this thing. It is a little rough, I will say, but it doesn't feel bad in the hand already. All right, so we have 150 grit sandpaper. We're just gonna go through and just rub this thing down really good. This is gonna work off all of those edges and stuff that that knife left. That 150 grit sandpaper really does a number. Probably wear a dust mask when doing this. All right, much better. All right, so get all the dust and everything off of it. And wow, this thing is like super smooth. It almost feels like a guitar neck. It's so smooth. I mean, we kind of rubbed off the whole Genuine Hickory logo there, but hey, who cares? We know it's Hickory. Man, this thing feels so good right now. I just want to swing it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and apply that boiled linseed oil. Get this thing feeling really, really good, and it's gonna protect that wood. So we're gonna go through and put some of this boiled linseed oil on it. And this is great. I put it on ax handles, I put it on knife handles, I put it on guitar necks, I put it on a lot of different things because it protects the wood and it gives it a nice little finish too. And it's gonna feel really nice in the hand when you're swinging that ax. All right, we got it clamped to the workbench. I like to go ahead and put two rubber gloves on. That way we're not gonna get this on our hands and it's gonna give us the ability to work it into the wood 
you know, if you were to just use a rag, which I guess you could, then, then you're not going to be able to work it in as good, I don't think. Uh, so what we're going to do, go ahead and get a bunch in our hands, just start applying this stuff. All right, and that should probably be enough. I shouldn't have to get any more. Because that hickory is going to soak that up. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm getting it applied evenly throughout. And any excess, because it is quite heavy of a coat, what we'll do is let this dry for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back in any excess that's on the top. We'll take a rag and wipe that off. All right. It's pretty much all the way dried. I mean, there's a couple places it's not fully dried, but man, this handle looks good. Super smooth. I mean, it's almost like as smooth as some of my guitar necks, but overall it left a really nice uh, like a yellowish aged look to it and I think it looks great and I tell you it beats that varnish or that lacquer just big time I mean this is not gonna create any hot spots in your hand and honestly huge upgrade is what we did just now all right guys thanks for watching this video hopefully you learned a little bit about how to make your axe handle even better than it was when it came from the factory because this is a huge upgrade in my opinion, you're gonna be able to have a lot better time out there when you're using your ax because you're not gonna be creating those hot spots on your hands and ultimately leaving those blisters. You know, like we said, if you use gloves and stuff, it's not that big of a deal, but still, it's just a lot better feeling in the hand when it's got this boiled linseed oil on it. So look at that. Just a really nice outcome with this beautiful grain to this wood. But thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in future videos.